used to and becomes um, almost like, I would like to say, of, of something that they become accustomed to. And if they're not performing and training and winning, then it is a shock, I believe, to the emotional, mental state of being. Because then it's like, what do I do now? And that's the number one thing that where I consult with a lot of athletes on a side is about purpose and identity. And they really struggle when they're not in the pool or on the track or on the field or hitting a ball. What are your thoughts about systems that need to be in place and how can we as a public or as professionals come together to emphasize to these baseball leagues and football leagues and and sports across from UFC to everything else that these people are not just people and a product, that they are human beings and they need more of a support system than just training and a coach. Yeah, I mean, you brought up so, so many good points there. And, you know, I think at the professional level, we're doing much better with having that support system, a sports psychologist, uh, a clinical sports psychologist, they can also treat the mental health. That's, that's much more mainstream now for most uh, professional teams. And certainly all the Olympic teams, I've got friends in the field who are, who are uh, sports psychologists for the, some of the Olympic teams. So I think that we're doing a much better job at that level. The problem is when you go down from that level, or it's simply that the support is not there. Even, you know, even at uh, where I'm a professor, Cal State Northridge, we have one person who does 16 hours a week for all of the athletes. And there are hundreds of athletes. That's very little time that, that really, I mean, that's, we need more than one person doing, you know, part-time work with with the athletes and if you go down to youth sport or high school sport it's almost non-existent uh, because there's just not funding for it uh, in the schools to have that so some of my graduate students I have out in the high schools uh, doing mental training and work and it is so beneficial for these high school athletes to have somebody that they can go to Um, and it's great for my my graduate students who need to get their hours for certification but it also, you know, they're, they're basically donating their time. And, and it's been really interesting to see how much they've helped these, you know, these high school athletes need that, that support so much. So I think we have a long way to go in terms of mental training being just as important as having a strength and conditioning coach, just as important as having a coach. That that's an essential part of, of an athletic department of anything. I, however, I think in individual sports, you know, we still, I mean, Naomi Osaka, probably the most, well, she's the, she's the highest paid female athlete in the world. I mean, she struggled with mental health issues for quite a while, finally talked about it in the last uh, couple of years. But I remember about a year ago, she said, well, I'm finally working with a therapist. And I'm like, you're a, a multimillionaire, <laughs> you're very famous, and you're just now turning to someone because I think there's still such that stigma of I don't want to show that I'm weak. I, I need to be tough. There's such an emphasis on winning that, that there's still that I, I, I I'm weak. If I go to someone, I'm weak. If I admit that. And, and when we simply need to, to, you know, change that, that attitude. And, and it's, I think it's slowly happening, but part of it's also just, we need more people becoming sports psychologists. Um, I was just looking on our, um, our website, the Association for Applied Sports Psych. And like in California, there's only 72 certified consultants right now. That's nothing when you think about the population size we have in California, the major metro areas, San Diego, LA, the Bay Area, and we only have 72 certified sports psych consultants. That's not enough. Um, So I think, you know, a lot of work is still to be done there. And there's a lot of opportunities for anyone, you know, wanting to go into this field as well. 